Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. After discussing the causes, the types and investigations of recurrent miscarriages in my previous videos, now I would like to discuss the management of miscarriages. If you want to study more videos about recurrent miscarriages, go to the links given in the i button in the top right corner of this video. And before discussing the managements, let us revise the causes of miscarriages because the management depends upon the cause. And the causes include, first of all, epidemiological factors, secondly, antiphospholipid syndrome, then the genetic factors, anatomical factors like congenital uterine uh, abnormalities and cervical weaknesses, endocrine factors, immune factors, infective agents, and inherited thrombophilic defects. Let us discuss the management of epidemiological factors of miscarriages. The epidemiological factors of miscarriages include, first of all, maternal age, then number of previous miscarriages, cigarette smoking, alcohol consumption, and obesity. Among these factors, the maternal age and number of previous uh, miscarriages are non-modifiable risk factors. Means we don't uh, do anything, we can't do anything with these factors as those are out of our control. But yes, as far as the modifiable risk factors are concerned, we can give appropriate advice to the patient like quitting smoking and uh, quitting alcohol consumption and to follow a healthy lifestyle to reduce the weight. Coming to the management of antiphospholipid antibody syndrome. Pregnant women with antiphospholipid antibody syndrome should be considered for the treatment with low dose aspirin plus heparin to prevent further miscarriage. Neither corticosteroid nor intravenous immunoglobulin therapy improve the life birth rate of a woman with recurrent miscarriages associated with, associated with antiphospholipid antibody syndrome compared with the other treatment modalities. How to manage genetic factors? The finding of an abnormal parental karyotypes should be um, taken seriously and that prompts a referral to a clinical geneticist who is specialist in the genetic study. Secondly, the genetic counseling has a role. Genetic counseling offers the couple a prognosis for the risk of future pregnancies with an unbalanced chromosome complement and the opportunity for familial chromosome studies. Let us study the role of peri-implantation genetic screening with in vitro fertilization. Its treatment with IVF in women with unexplained recurrent miscarriages doesn't improve the life birth rates. Coming to the management of anatomical factors responsible for miscarriages. Okay, so first of all, the management of congenital uterine malformations. There is insufficient evidence to uh, assess the effects of uterine septum resection in women with the recurrent miscarriages. Coming to the management of cervical weaknesses, first of all, let us study the role of cervical cerclage. Cervical cerclage is associated with potential hazards related to the surgery and the risk of stimulating uterine contraction and hence should be considered only in the women who are likely to benefit. Second is the role of serial cervical sonographic surveillance. Women with a history of second trimester miscarriage and suspected cervical weaknesses who have not undergone history indicated cerclage may be offered serial cervical sonographic surveillance. Coming to the role of ultrasound indicated cerclage. In a woman with singleton pregnancy and a history of one second trimester miscarriage attributed to the uh, cervical factors, an ultrasound indicated Cerclage should be offered if cervical length of 25 mm or less is detected by the transvaginal scan before 24 weeks of gestation. Let us discuss the role of endocrine factors. There is insufficient evidence to evaluate the effect of progesterone supplementations in pregnancy to prevent a miscarriage in a woman with recurrent miscarriages. There is insufficient evidence to evaluate the effect of human chorionic gonadotrophin supplementations in pregnancy to prevent a miscarriage in a woman with recurrent miscarriage. The suppression of high luteinizing hormone level among ovulatory women with recurrent miscarriage and polycystic ovaries does not improve the live birth rate. Let us discuss the role of metformin. There is insufficient evidence to evaluate the effect of metformin supplementation in pregnancy to prevent a miscarriage in women with recurrent miscarriages. 
let us discuss the role of immunotherapy we have different types of immunotherapy like paternal cell immunization secondly third party donor leukocytes trophoblast membrane and intravenous immunoglobulin in women with the previous unexplained recurrent miscarriages this immunotherapy doesn't improve the live birth rate let us discuss the role of infective agents the presence of bacterial vaginosis in the first trimester of pregnancy has been reported as a risk factor for the second trimester miscarriage and preterm delivery so for the purpose of its management consider the use of metronidazole either in tablet form or in the topical form depending upon the clinical presentation let us discuss the role of inherited thrombophilic defects how to manage inherited thrombophilic defects role of heparin has been studied in thrombophilia management there is insufficient evidence to evaluate the effect of heparin in pregnancy to prevent miscarriage in women with recurrent first trimester miscarriage associated with inherited thrombophilia heparin therapy during pregnancy may improve the live birth rate of women with a second trimester miscarriage associated with inherited thrombophilias so that bring us to the end of my presentation i would like to complete my presentation with this quote the opposite of love is not hate it's indifference the opposite of art is not ugliness it's indifference the opposite of faith is not heresy it's indifference and the opposite of life is not death it's indifference so always think positively as there are only two ways to live our life one is as though nothing is a miracle and the other is as though everything is a miracle so thank you so much i wish you all the best allah hafiz